Hi there, how's it going? Are you good? Great. Here we are nearly in 2021. Anyway, in this video, I'm trying to find something, but I came across this. What is going on? Why? Why? Like, I mean, if it... Oh, wait. Ah, right, okay, that makes a bit more sense now. Yeah, all right, maybe touchy subjects. Let's, you know what, let's, let's pretend this never happened. Let's carry on with this video like normal, yeah? All right, good idea. Why are you gay? Hi there, how's it going? Are you good? Great, here we are with another one. This one's come around a little sooner than expected. So, let's begin. So right here, what we have is a cardboard box with a speaker inside of it. I'm not sure if I've shown this before, but this guy has gone through the effort of making this and then pestering me to show the video. So here it is. And there it is, dead. And the next video we have is this. This is a Dayton Ultimax. Some of you would have been able to guess, but as you can see, barely any movement. This person's actually uploaded a few videos with my tracks playing music. Skip forward a little bit and there's a little bit more movement, but you need to work on those camera settings. And the next one we have is this. Now, this song actually has some low frequencies right here. See that? I don't remember the frequency of it, but they're here. And only in this part of the track. Now, it would have been better if he'd have taken the grill off, but he hasn't done that. Luckily, we can still see the speaker moving. And also, this is a Logitech, what is it? 7625. And I think that is about all there is, really. All right, on to the next one. All right, so the next one we have here is a blowout. And that is the speaker right there. By the way, if I use your videos, leave a comment below to say that I've used your video and I will heart your comment. And here it is being blown out, finally, in a separate video. And it's dead. Now, let's take a look and see what he's got lying around his room. So there's a calculator right there. There's a bigger speaker over here. What is that? Is that a CD? Looks like a CD. And we have a tube light. Got a bulb on the side. Right here we have a Nokia phone. Another bulb. The speaker seems to have come out of maybe this cabinet right there. What is that? An air cooler? Got another speaker wrapped up right there. Anyway, on to the next one. All right, so here we have a pretty grubby looking Altec Lansing speaker in the back of a car, which I probably wouldn't touch without gloves. But this guy reaches straight for it. All right, well, that's kind of strange. Inside here, we have a Sony speaker. Either way, Ah, and what we have here is an Iowa speaker, which is what I have downstairs, and somebody's made a hole in the surround. Did you hear that sound? That sound is what we heard when we first bought these in like the 90s, the mid 90s. We took both speakers back and told the company we bought them from that they weren't handling the power very well. And what they did was they changed the drivers, which I don't think they did. I think they fit some sort of attenuation device, which limits the amount of power that these drivers receive and therefore stops that noise from occurring. And once again, we have another speaker here leaning on the Altec Lansing speaker, which is behind it. Uh, there's not really much movement. He's not really pushing them very hard. And they also have a bunch of orangey brown stuff behind them. And the next one we have is this. And we are inside a car. iPhone mode. Volume 19. 20? No, 20. 19. 
and the sub is a SCAR 8 inch on 1200 watts and it's inverted Now personally, I'm not really a fan of inverting subs because of the noise. The noise is basically just air rushing in and out of the gaps and the hole on the back. Um, there's usually a hole in the center of the magnet to help with cooling. Sometimes it can be quite a bit of noise, but if your stereo is loud enough, I guess it doesn't really matter. And we have a Pioneer amp and 120 amps worth of fuses and here we have the next one so we have a speaker on a shelf next to a what seems to be a wine glass Okay, so we have a bit of movement right there. Is he, what is he switching it on? Oh, it's a sub. All right, cool. Now all these videos that I'm showing you right now, I'm watching for the first time now. All right. When you put a tube on a port, basically the length of the port equals the tuning. So a fairly long port will lower your tuning. So basically what he's done is lower the tuning. And I think to prevent any port noise, he's added the sponge on the end of it. And that is the difference with and without the port extension. All right, nice job. I guess you were kind of lucky that this tube fits your port. And the next video we have is this. Now, I have no idea what speaker it is or whether or not it's a sub. Seems to be handling the frequencies kind of well, though. Not even close to max. Still isn't max. Like small, also. Yeah, probably about five inches or something. Okay. Anyway, and the next one we have is this. Thought I'd show this because I thought it was kind of uh, funny. Raveland. So we have these mids on the top. And they seem to be moving a little more than the main speaker. There we have the main speaker right there. Raveland. There we have the mids. Moving a little more than the bigger one. But we also have this one down here. Which is moving just about. And then we have these two on the side. Which are. Are they moving? Can we see them moving? A little bit, just a little bit. So they have four tweeters each. Interesting setup. And right here we have the next one. All right, so I'm in my den at the moment. Got all the lights running. And he's going to play an interesting and what track. What we're going to be doing is we're going to test this out on a track. So we're going to be playing My Stone of Mind 
by the basement, which is a bass boosted version, so let's continue. All right, so this is My Stone of Mine by The Basement. I'd like to meet these basement people. I think I remember seeing these things on a few car audio sites back in like, I'm not too sure when, but it's been a while. It's not something I'd personally buy, but it is a unique system. Look, a lot of mechanical sounds. Now once again, if I've used your video, leave a comment below with the account that you've posted your video with and I will heart your comments so people can come and check you out. All right, so now we have a few videos from Instagram. These were sent to me via DMs and I hit save on these and stuck them in a folder. And this is also the first time I'm seeing these. So we have gas car audio. And uh, I don't know what he's filming. All right, there we are, that's a bit better. So there is a little bit of movement. I'm guessing it's got more to do with your camera settings. But uh, if you get those right, we'd be able to see even more movement. All right, well that was kind of loud. I was speaking kind of loud then as well. But thank you, Mr. Gas Guy. And the next one we have is this, and it's an Amazon speaker box. So we have a battery on the top of it. Got two speakers in the back. Got an amplifier on top. Two speakers round the front. Fire is glued to the box. Good idea. And the next one we have is this. So we have a looks like it's a tower speaker, but I think there are two pairs of speakers on top of each other. And they are on, and he's gone landscape. From portrait to landscape. I'm gonna have to do some editing on this. And back to portrait. And that there is the biggest speaker at the bottom. And he's gone landscape again. Okay, so everybody watching this right now who wants to submit a video next time, film in landscape, which is sideways, not this. By the way, I kind of like this. Rabbit, I'm gonna try to Google that. I'm gonna try to find one of these. Oh, and I've just realised that this guy's speakers aren't symmetrical. Huh. Right, anyway, this has been fun. I'll catch you in the next one. You are gay.